Hey, thanks for stopping by. I wanted to do a quick flip through and show. This is a handmade journal that I made for my mother for Christmas this year. Um, I'm recording this before Christmas and I won't show it until after I've uh, or posted on here until after I've given it to her. But I just wanted to show you a flip through. I'm really proud of it. I started it in January last year. I got the idea for it. Um, she loves my handmade journals and she absolutely loves um, red poppies and hummingbirds. So that's my theme for the book is poppies and hummingbirds. I did a snippet style cover so it's got lots and lots of layers of laces and trims. Um, these beautiful little crocheted uh, doilies were red doilies that I then embroidered and beaded to make them look like poppies and I'll put a link below for the wonderful lady that makes these little doilies they're actually um, for your spool pins for your sewing machine for your um, thread to sit on top of and spin easily um, but I knew that they would be the perfect size and she did a beautiful job on these for me so I'm going to put her link below for her Etsy store in case you're interested in her little spool pin doilies um, anyway it's got it's got beads and embroidery it's got lace it's got this beautiful um, this is just a jewelry piece but it's got red glass in it and I was trying to go with a lot of red I've hung it on a little uh, pin here with some Swarovski crystals this um, there is a lot of things on here that were made by my great grandmother in the 1930s and 40s. Um, this trim in here is part of that. This trim up here, this was all done by my great grandmother, and I wanted to add those touches in here. She put them along the edge of uh, pillowcases, and my mom had given them to me to use, and I thought, how special is that to? use them on her book so they're you know a touch memory for her for having pieces of her grandmother's on the covers so and then there are other fun things like this is a uh, wooden wooden button that looks like a clock there is a little applique of a butterfly my mom loves butterflies uh, black glass button that's real pretty sewn on pieces of material that have uh, poppies there is a napkin on here, decoupage napkin that has poppies. This button has an angel and that is to be her guardian angel to guard and protect her. Um, a little applique piece of material with printed bird nest and this bird was a pin that was my grandmother so I thought she would like that too. Another touch thing to have as a memory. This antique vintage carved button of a four leaf clover is to bring her good luck in the new year. And then on the end of it I um, I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if it if it focuses in but I hand beaded with little tiny seed beads the um, end of the book so it's got little beads all the way through see if you can see those and then of course dangles so it's got a key that has a butterfly it's got a little glass bottle here a little glass dangle with red beads in it she loves red that's her favorite color and a heart dangled heart and then this beautiful chain that has a bird and a wired bird nest with eggs those hang off the end and then on the back side there's an applique heart i beaded in there as well with little tiny seed beads more decoupage another one of those um, doily pieces there's a uh, applique little printed bird a piece of metal some more mod podge um, napkin with poppies there are vintage buttons those are antique buttons a B antique buttons stacked and layered for the closure the closure is a hair tie and it goes around this button to keep the book closed just like this so there's the closure it's sewn in and then let's get started with the flip through Okay, so what I did with this book is it is a um, handmade journal, so it's got 
three signatures in it sewn into the book and I've added a bunch of really fun and interesting things in here things for her to do so it's a journal that she can write in she can tuck photos in but then it's also got things in here that I'd like her to do in this envelope here is a letter I wrote to her that's uh, just a private letter to my mom and this is just a cloth tag there is a bookmark in here some paper to journal on a bookmark with a um, red cardinal. Red cardinals were something that my grandmother loved. And then what I've done is I have put all through the book, this is really kind of fun, photographs and papers that are sewn together for her to journal on. And this one is my favorite time spent with my brother Tom. So there's a picture of my mom and her brother when they were very little and she can write down her favorite memories on these papers of her and her brother to tuck into the journal. And then of course underneath there's room for her to do other journaling as well but that's just um, an activity piece. So there's papers that are tea dyed. Here's another paper and there are things like this all throughout the book too. Um, it is questions for her. Uh, what would you do differently in life if you could in a place for her to journal? What would you like to learn to do and why? So that is something for her to complete and fill out. Here is another one of those uh, note things and it's my favorite memories of my grandpa and that is it's her grandpa it would be my great grandpa but here's pages for her to write her memories favorite memories of her and her grandpa. Um, he died when she was young. I, I never met him. He was very artistic and loved to draw and paint and she loves to draw and paint and I love to, to do art and I think it's we all inherited from my great-grandfather. Um, then there's more. Uh, this one's describe your gram grandparents houses. Did you visit them often? Why or why not? And the back is list one special memory about each of your brothers. So here's that for her to write memories about her brothers and about her grandparents' house. Here's a page that folds out with poppies and poppy seeds. Then on here I drew um, poppies for her to paint. So I put watercolor paint these poppies drawn especially for you. And then there is a really cute tag or a really cute um, um, poppy and flowered paper clip to hold that on but then sh this is on watercolor paper so she can watercolor paint this poppy page and then on the back side I left it blank because I wasn't sure what she would want to do art wise on the other side of the poppy painting then here's one what kind of prayer did you say before you went to sleep and who taught you how to pray it and a picture of her long 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 ago with my two great grandmothers because um, she used to take them to church when she was young and there's more papers that she can journal on and there's things like this that are um, have tags and things behind them to tuck into but that are just fancy that's material and lace on the back side uh, tell about someone who influenced your life profoundly so something she can write in there papers she can journal on more tea dyed paper this one's velcroed it's got poppies on the outside poppies on the inside papers sewn in for her to journal another questionnaire tucked in here where did your father go to work every day and what did he do um, where did you first go to church and what were your earliest memories of church and then this is my favorite songs so here's a little piece in here for her to write her favorite songs and it's got poppies on the back papers of course to journal on um, what was your favorite pastime as a child? Did you do it by yourself or with other people? There's tags, there's journaling papers folded for little private notes that she can write. She can tuck photos in. And then this, um, color the poppies with colored pencils. So there's poppies here that are for coloring. More pages for journaling. 
Then on this paper, because it's mixed media paper, I put draw something you'd see in nature on this mixed media paper and color it. And then behind it is another one of those questionnaires with my favorite memories of my grandmother. That was my my great grandmother and a picture of her and my mom can write down her memories of her grandmother. So the nice thing about this is it gives her things to do. It gives her prompts for journaling and activities to do in here that are artistic and hopefully she'll enjoy doing those things and someday I will inherit this and have all these wonderful memories besides. So it's kind of a gift that'll keep on giving. And this has just fun papers that are sewed together and more questionnaires. What fashions were popular when you were in high school? Why did you like them? More paper with poppies. Places to journal. Poppy cards. Butterfly cards. There's all kinds of cute cards tucked behind this. This is material. A poppy material pocket. And then this is out of a a uh, book about flowers and it's angels trumpets and underneath it when you flip it is journaling so there's lots and lots of journaling paper under here and then there's a little secret tuck spot back here for her to tuck things behind that and then here's more poppy paper and a cute little flip notebook that I decorated and it's got journaling stuff in it and then a picture of my grandmother, her mother, that says my favorite memories of my mother. And so she can write about her mother on that paper and put her favorite memories of Graham. Um, share some helpful home remedies and tips for good health. That's kind of fun. She can write down her favorite remedies. Um, one would be for... Uh, coughs. My the, my grandmother's favorite remedy for coughs was um, Hiram Walker apricot brandy mixed with honey and lemon. Warm it up and, and sip it slow for your cough. <laughs> so I just thought that would be kind of a... She'll have to write that in because she always tells me that was grandma's home remedy. And then this is just a fun page with poppy material. And then a hummingbird page that she can journal on. And then this is a cute hummingbird page with a hummingbird nest and flowers. And then cards and things tucked into that and more questions to answer. What advice about life do you want others to remember? And then this cute page has got birds and things layered and cards. And this is her favorite house plant is the lipstick vine plant. I remember when I was little, she used to have those, and she loved those plants. Um, what sense or sounds immediately take you back to your childhood? Describe the feelings it evoked. So that'll be a fun one for her to answer. And then this, this is really fun. This is a card with a material on it and a mandala. And when you open it, it says, remember every day you're loved. And it slips on top of this page creates the heart design at the top and then the beautiful design on the back so I think she'll like that message and then there's tucks with lots of cards and lots of journaling tags and just fun things in here this is a page that I out of birds and bloom book I got this red cardinal and I put your mother is always close by to dry your tears so you won't cry She's my grandmother passed away a couple of years ago or well, it's been a while now, but um, my mom still misses her every day as we all do. But um, Red Cardinals remind her of her mother. So there's a little birds on a wire, little tag, things to journal, a place where she can tuck a picture of Graham. And then this is all the reasons I love my dad. My grandfather, who also passed away. She can write all her favorite memories of her dad. And then this one, um, tell me something about a special outing you took with your mother and father. That would be a neat memory. And then there's just fun, neat tags all tucked in here. Flower tags and... Um, lots, of, lots of poppies everywhere, lots of birds. 
I hope she likes it. Here's the thing about butterflies. This was a out of a book and it just was just a really neat old house and it reminds me of um, some of the images, the older images from way back when in Michigan when they lived on the farm. Um, things that are possible for me that she can write. This little tag I made, who know who loves you? Me. I love owls and I thought that would just be a fun thing to tuck in there to remind her that I love her. And a flower card. Hummingbird paper. This paper is gorgeous with hummingbirds. Um, where did you buy your first house? Describe the house and what significance it held for you. There's beautiful little tags and things in here in a pocket. This has got a, a neat um, dangle paper clip that I put a, a metal feather charm on to hold this one in. And it is, tell me about your most unforgettable summer experience as a child. And it is attached to journaling paper and this cute bird tag. And birds in an aspen tree. She loved hiking in Colorado. Um, this is a fun wallpaper piece, textured wallpaper. And on the back is a journaling card with lines. And it just makes for pretty texture tucked behind this paper clip. Here's a card from... Michigan, the state of Michigan, that's where she grew up. Memories of my grandmother, so she can write about her grandmother. Home sweet home, more places to journal. Um, did you ever go to a dance? Tell me about it. And I wrote on this, place a photo of you in your prom dress in the pocket below. She has beautiful photographs of her in the most fabulous just full skirt prom dresses they were gorgeous so it'd be fun for her to pick put some of her prom pictures in there and just lots more journaling and a belly band a lace belly band with journaling papers um these are my blessings a place to write her blessings down another pocket with the things i love about my son are and a picture of my brother so she can write about her favorite things about her son. Um, recall some of the most important lessons you learned in life. This is a neat envelope that I made out of uh, napkins and it's got music inside of it, music sheet and journaling paper. So that's kind of a neat, a neat envelope that she can tuck things into. And behind it are is a page that she can journal on that says my dreams and it's lined and then here's more journaling paper this cute bumblebee and little um, house mouse critter on poppies and then this this is kind of fun this is a, the book I made and it is the story of the elephant and the butterfly I don't know if you've ever heard of that but it's about four pages long and it's a, just a beautiful beautiful story about the elephant and the butterfly. Here's a tag with poppies. That was from a napkin and I put it on a card. Information about her heritage. Pages to journal on. This is a fun dry, uh, butterfly page. The bird came out of, I fussy cut it out of a um, Birds and Blooms magazine and then here is um, poppy material. I just love how that turned out and it's a place where she can journal and more poppies and lines to journal so this page is a paper bag envelope and it's stamped with a hummingbird and there are journaling pages inside a little journaling book and then this tag with a hummingbird and some really pretty velvet flowers at the top and it goes behind it so it makes like a double a double pocket for her to tuck things into she could put a, a photo on that tag or journal on it and then there's more journaling pages and all the journaling pages i've added the detail of um border punching all the edges just to make them look really pretty and lacy page for notes journaling underneath, laces on the edges, 
Um, this last one here is Reasons I Love My Daughter. And so she can write things about why she loves her son and why she loves her daughter. Here's a cute little, I sewed that paper together for nice journaling. Um, a card with poppies that she can color. And then just a reminder card of me and you. In the sheets for journaling where I put a photo and I put a prompt for her to write her favorite memories about her grandfather or somebody in the family and I added a photo, I used this really cute, this is called an HP sprocket and um, it's a little photo printer and um, it's really fun. You um, load photo paper into it, you buy packs of photo paper and you load it into it and there's an app so the app connects to your photos that are on your um, iPhone or your tablet or on your computer and you select a photo and then you say um, you center it in the little box and you say print and it prints out this photo that you can peel and stick and the photo size the photos are two inches by three inches which are just the perfect size for putting in a journal so I love it for um, like for my Christmas journal I can take a photo of something um, from Christmas and print it out and just put it on that page where I journal about my Christmas experience this year. So it's just really fun. This little HP Sprocket photo printer is something nifty to check out if you haven't seen that before. And that's how I did the photos in this journal, handmade journal that I made for my mother. And there will be a link in the description box below for that if you're interested in checking out the HP Sprocket. Place for her to journal. This is the last page and the back of the book. And then it's got a especially handmade by Lori. So that is the end of the book. So that is it and I hope she loves it. It was a labor of love. It took me forever to make the snippet cover and fill it and put all the neat things in it. Um, and then there's a page in there I missed too that's about uh, memories of her and her brother Bruce. So there are a lot of neat things and things for her to do. And I hope this maybe inspired you to make one. It'll be a heritage memory journaling book for mom. So she can fill out the information and put in all her treasured little things. And then um, someday it will get passed down in the family. So make one for someone you love, especially for your mom. Hey, um, for Mother's Day, for a birthday, for Christmas, for whatever and use little bits and pieces of things that are going to be important and memorable to that person and it just makes giving one of these handmade journals the best gift ever so i hope she loves it i love making it for her and it'll be super fun to uh, give it to her for christmas so i'm glad i could give you a flip through and show you what i made and i hope it inspired you thanks for stopping by